வெல்கம் டு கே எஸ் ரங்கசாமி காலேஜ் ஆஃப் டெக்னாலஜி யூடியூப் சேனல் மை செல்ஃப் டாக்டர் ஏ ரமேஷ்குமார் ப்ரொஃபஸர் இந்த டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் மெக்கட்ரானிக்ஸ் இன்ஜினியரிங் கே எஸ் ரங்கசாமி காலேஜ் ஆஃப் டெக்னாலஜி திருச்செங்கோர் டுடே த டாபிக் வாட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் இஸ் கியர்ஸ் அண்ட் கியர் ட்ரெயின்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த சப்ஜெக்ட் தீரி ஆஃப் மிஷின்ஸ் கியர்ஸ் ஆர் யூஸ் டு டிரான்ஸ்மிட் மோஷன் ஃப்ரம் ஒன் ஷாப் டு அனதர் ஆர் பிட்வீன் ஷாப் and a slide this is achieved by successfully engaging teeth gears used no intermediate links or connector and transmit the motion by direct contact the surface of two bodies make a tangential contact the two bodies have either a rolling or sliding motion along the tangent at the point of contact the gear t- gear wheels may be classified according to the position of axis of the shafts like parallel intersecting non intersecting non parallel according to the peripheral velocity of the gears low velocity gears medium velocity gears high velocity gears according to the type of gearing external gearing internal gearing rack and pinion according to the position of teeth on gear surface straight inclined curved the types of gears are spur gears helical gears herring bone and double helical gears bevel gears spiral gears hypoid gears worm and worm wheel rack and pinion spur gear tooth profile is parallel to the axis of the rotation transmits motion between parallel shafts used in electric screwdriver oscillating sprinkler wind up alarm clock washing machine and clock dryer helical gears teeth are inclined to the axis of rotation the angle provides more gradual engagement of the teeth during meshing transmits motion between parallel shafts this gradual engagement makes helical gears operate much more smoothly and quietly than spur gears herring bone and double helical gear herring bone and double helical gear or helical gears with both left and right hand helices a herring bone gear has no gap in between the helices a double helical gear has a gap in between the helices these gears are mostly used on heavy machinery bevel gears teeth are formed on a conical surface used to transfer motion between non parallel and non intersecting shafts these gears are used in locomotives marine applications automobiles printing presses cooling towers power plants steel plants railway track inspection machines and so on spiral bevel gears a spiral bevel gear is a bevel gear with helical teeth the main application of this is in a vehicle differential where the direction of drive from the drive shaft must be turned 90 degrees to the drive the wheels the helical design produces less vibration and noise than conventional straight cut or spur cut gear with straight teeth hypoid gears a hypoid is a type of spiral bevel gear whose axis does not intersect with the axis of the meshing gear so the pinion here see the diagram the pinion axis is not in parallel to the axis of the crown so there is an offset worm and worm wheel it consists of helical gear and a power screw named as worm used to transfer motion between non parallel and non intersecting shafts worm gears are used widely in material handling and transportation machinery machine tools automobiles rack and pinion the rack and pinion combination converts rotary motion into translatory motion or vice versa it is used in lathe machine in which rack transmits motion to the saddle coming to another application in the steering system of many cars rack and pinion mechanism is used applications of gears there are enormous amount of applications 
few of them are listed here aircrafts automobiles clocks marine systems material handling equipment machining instrumentation power plants pumps coming to gear train a gear train is a combination of gears used to transmit motion from one shaft to another the gear train types are all simple gear train compound gear train riveted gear train planetary or we can say epicyclic gear train simple gear train in this gear train there is only one gear on each shaft is known as simple gear train where first gear rotates then the follower that is second gear rotates in opposite direction simultaneously then if the driver rotates in anti clockwise direction and it is connected with the driven gear so the driven gear will rotate in clockwise direction if we need the same direction of rotation of the driver to the driven we have to include a idle gear as shown in the figure 2 compound gear train a series of gears are connected in such a way that two or more gears rotate about an axis with same angular velocity is known as compound gear train the compound gear trains are used to compact the gear box sizes riveted gear train if the axis of the driver shaft and driven shaft is coaxial then the gear train is known as riveted gear train the driver shaft is connected with the driver gear wheel it is connected with the driven so the rotational motion is transferred from driver to driven here this is a compound gear here you see in a single shaft two gear wheels are all mounted so whatever the rpm of this gear wheel will be the same here also here the output is given to the output shaft via the output gear so here the axis of input gear and output gear are coaxial so this type of gear trains are all called as riveted gear trains next coming to planetary or epicyclic gear train one of the gear is rotating over and around another gear is called as epicyclic gear train epi means over cyclic means around there is an arm connecting such two gears this gear train finds great application in various fields here it's a one example of a epicyclic gear train so see here it is a, a sun gear around that three planetary gears are there and one annular wheel so any one of the set will be locked and the input and output will be taken from another two this is called as planetary or epicyclic gear train applications advantages and disadvantages of planetary and epicyclic gear train or advantages the epicyclic gear trains are used for transmitting high velocity ratios with gears of moderate size in a comparatively lesser space disadvantages are high bearing load inaccessibility and design complexity applications automatic gear transmission of cars mopeds electric vehicles and robotic systems like robotic arms and grippers these are the some of the applications of epicyclic gear train thanks for watching keep learning and growing with our ks rangasamy college of technology youtube channel thank you